Hi, this is Gina Rothback. I'm one of your um, instructors at Garvey and Loeffler and um, Northern Senior Center. I'm taping gold kickboxing today and I hope you would enjoy this workout. So my premise is everybody's healthy and we are gonna have fun with it. You know me as your instructor when things are a little bit on the slow side and if you wanna up your game a little bit, add a little bit spice, I like things spicy. So I want you to do it in your own pace. So we're gonna do with basics and this is what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with punches, basic kicks. I'm gonna grab some weights if you need to. For weights and kickboxing, I highly recommend that you would do two to three pounds. If three pounds is too much heavy, just stay on the second um, option, which is two pounds. And if it's two pounds is too heavy, then you don't have to do any weights. Um, I brought some mitts and gloves. Those are things that we normally do in the classes, but since this is a demo and I don't have anybody to box with, most likely we're gonna be doing um, air punches today. So here we go. Um, so like any other of your classes, we're gonna start with a warm up, and usually I would like to do some movements with regards to stretching to your arms side to side. And eight counts, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. You're gonna do some rotation with your arms, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and on the other arm, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. You're gonna do some rotation to the side. Make sure you're pivoting that leg, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. We're gonna reach over your head. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could add eight more, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two. And this time we're gonna reach forward. And one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, switching to, the, to a punch. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. You're gonna lift that knee nice and slow. We're still starting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna add a tap to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, repeat those knees, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, we're going to reach over your head one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and make a punch right here, and two, three, four, five, six, cutting it down to four, and one, two, three, adding another four, and one, two, three, cut it to two, and one, two, punch for two, one, and singles, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, modify jacks, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So hopefully at this point, you're warming up a little bit. And if you're not warm up, you can keep marching and doing a wide A step. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Punch on the right, jabs, jab, jab jab basic 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 here's eight seven six five four three two double jabs one two three four five six seven eight one 
two, three, four, five, six, back to singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and doubles, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a hook. So when you do a hook, you're gonna pivot following that leg, make a letter C, one, two, nice tight arms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I wanna remind you that a hook is meant for the jaw. So it's a circular motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double the punches. And one, two, three, and four, five, six. Single hooks right here. And hook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight you could take a break here and get some water if you want to if you want to keep our third basic punches will be your uppercut an uppercut is a punch that's meant underneath the chin so it goes up the power comes from your foot running through your hips up to your arm under that jaw so one two three four five six seven eight nine back to punches one two three four five six double up right here and one two three four five six hook singles eight seven six five four three two single uppercuts and one two three four five six Add those knees and one, two, three. You could kick or tap. Tap, depending on your fitness level. You could tap nice and slow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. A little bit higher intensity would be a kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two lower intensity one two three four five six seven punch forward for four one two three take it back for four one two three punch for four one two three take it back for four one two three do it again eight seven six five four three one more time, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's add some hooks. Spice it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Here's one, two, three, and four, five, six. Let's do an uppercut going forward. One, two, three, four, one, two. Let's do that one more time. Here's one, two, three. Again, one, two. Let's put that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do a hook. One, two, three, and back. One, two. Let's do an uppercut. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, adding those knees one more time one two three modified jacks eight seven six five four three two and one at this point if you're feeling kind of sweaty and hot grab your weights grab a swig of water so you have an option of a three pounder or a two pounder so I'm assuming this is not against you, but we haven't exercised for a while. So let's just do two pounds right now. Because yours truly haven't been teaching for almost two months now too. So let's just do nice and easy. Same movement. Make sure that your knees are slightly bent, arms are nice and straight. 
tuck your elbows in. We're gonna do double punches using the weights right here. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and a hook right here. Hook, one, hook, two, hook, three, single punches right here, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a hook right here. One, two, three, and punches here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a hook right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So take a little breather, put your weights down. You wanna check those triceps. Good, get some water. Four, three, two, keep moving for a while. Get yourself at least 10 seconds of a break time and 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. I want you to pick up those weights again because it's adding a little bit of intensity for our workout. So this time you're gonna do a fighting position wherein one foot is up, both of your hands. So we're gonna do double jab, one, two, and a cross. If you notice, when I do a cross, my foot goes with me. It pivots. One, two, punch. One, two, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, just across. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, again, and one, one, punch, one, one, cross, one, one, cross, jab, jab, four more times, four, and three, and two, and last one right here, and here's your crosses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right, you're right, so we're not cockeyed, we're gonna have to switch that other arm, the same thing. Breathe, hands are up, fighting stance. Jab, jab, pivot, following that foot with your arm. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's your crosses right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do it again. And one, one, jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, four more times. Here's four and three and two and one and across and eight seven six five four three two and one so shake it up four three two and one so we're gonna go back after our weights you can put down the weights just to give you guys a break and then we're gonna do a little movement good so when you move to your side, when you lift your knee, it's almost called, good. So you're going back and preparing yourself. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So because you know I'm very martial arts oriented so when you lift that knee you're going to take that hand and slam your opponent's head towards your knee so it's a one two three four five six seven and eight and for those people that cannot put their leg up that high one is perfect, 
two, just tap, three, four, five, six. There's no remember, there's no heavy expectations in this class. As long as you're moving, you're having fun, and you think by this point of the game you're sweating, I'm good with that. So you're gonna do the same thing with the left knee. Big ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and for low impact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and march in place, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands are up. So I always tell my students, hands up, which is a fighting stance. So you get your dukes up just because the left hand is protecting your face. Nobody wants to be kicked or punched in the face. The other hand is protecting your chest. So if you are here, you're protecting this part, you're protecting this part of your body. So now this time we're gonna get this leg up and top, up and top in preparation. So what we call a roundhouse kick. As I've said in the beginning, there's no expectation for a high kick or a very strong kick as long as you're moving. Knee up, put it down and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do that one more time, a little bit faster. If you think that's too fast, slow it down. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, a little bit lesser intensity, tap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. We don't wanna go home cockeyed, doing the left, right leg, five, six, seven, eight, it's up, two, up and tap, up and tap, up and four more, here's four, three, two, low intensity, here we go, and tap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take a little break, march in place, and four, and three, and two, and one. So, I want you guys to get your gloves. If you don't have any gloves like those, just wear any kind of protective device. Um, I would like, especially our seniors, to be wearing some kind of protective device around their knuckles, because some of our clients are probably taking medications that makes their skin like they call it onion skin, I think, and they get blister very quickly, so we don't want that to happen, uh, so why not? They sell um, these gloves in Dick's and Sporting Goods, and I think Target sometimes carry them. So not endorsing those stores, but fortunately in our little county, that's where we find them. So this time, I want you guys to do a horseback stand. So, when I call it a horseback stance, it's because it looks like you're riding a horse. Your knees are slightly bent, your arms are up, like you're riding a big horse. We're gonna punch 50 times if you want to start with. You can go up to 75 and 100, but 100 is your max to challenge yourself. We're gonna start slow, it's gonna go a little bit faster, 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 and faster until we get to 100. So arms are up, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten seventy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eighty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ninety one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you have done a hundred so you could put down your gloves so one thing that you have to remember is your cool down is as important as your warm up. So when you cool down, make sure you nice and you march one and two, get that heart rate down. Don't just sit down in a chair because all the blood circulation is going to go to your feet and you're going to feel faint. So nice and tap right here. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Grab those triceps and release. Four, three, two, and one. You could switch it up. Four, three, two, and one. Nice deep breath. Push it out. And if you want to do some more stretching, five, six, seven, eight. You could take one leg back, stretch those legs, release those calves. Four, three, two, and one.